Hey, what's up, you two? I'm Zeke, and welcome to the Dream Green Show. This episode is brought to you by Weeble. Sign up now by clicking the link down in the description, deposit $100, and receive two free stocks valued up to $1,400. And this week is week 10 of my AMD Trading Challenge, where I track one company for the next 52 weeks. I'm gonna track their news, their earnings reports. Um, I'm gonna analyze their charts and price points to see if tracking one company and their competitors would have any benefit of me trading this company for a full year at all other than just buying and selling a company um, blindly without even tracking that company's projections in the future but i'm going to keep track of this one company to see if that helps me at all and so far it has this is week 10 and let's take a look at amd over on my robin hood account all right so here we are on amd over the last week amd is at 81 dollars 70 right now but it had a pullback down $3.42, bringing it down 4.02% over the last week. Over the last month, AMD has still been performing pretty well, up $3.67, up 4.7%. Now, if we're taking a look at AMD's um, all-time high at $92.18, they, they killed it last week at $92.18, being up on the month 18%, but they're starting to have a pullback and it's pulling back to $81.70. Speaking of that pullback, you guys don't wanna miss out on that technical analysis that I'm gonna do at the end of this video. Some pretty good trade setups is coming, so make sure that you guys stick to the end of this video so that you don't miss out. So let's scroll down and take a look at my positions. I have 48 shares at $3,921.60 with the average cost of $34.42. I'm up $2,269.64, up 137%. So AMD, it has still been treating me well. If you guys remember back in week eight, I bought one share of um, AMD, which brought me from 47 to 48. And I'm not gonna uh, swing or day trade that one share. That's just gonna stay in there. So now my baseline is 48 shares. I'm eventually have a baseline of 50 shares before I start buying and selling on and off um, AMD again. I'm just gonna build it up to 50, but it is some good buying opportunity coming up, like I said in a technical analysis. So you don't wanna miss out on that. And other big news is that, whoo wee Hey, we ain't worried about Intel no more. We read about NVIDIA. I've been telling you guys for the last couple of weeks, for, for the first eight weeks, we've been talking about Intel. And the last couple of weeks, we've been talking about NVIDIA. And they came out with some big news that might, just might, affect AMD just a little bit on that upcoming release of that GPU. So some big news coming out. So let's go ahead. Before we dive into the news, be, be, before we dive into the news, you guys go ahead and hit that thumbs up button so you help out this channel a lot. It really helps motivate me to do all of this research and to present it to you guys. So if I could get maybe 100 likes, 100 thumbs ups on this video, it lets me know that you guys are enjoying this AMD series. So go ahead, hit the thumbs up button. But enough of that, let's go ahead and dive into this video. All right, so let's dive into some good news first. Here we are, um, alleged leaks from AMD, which I won't be surprised actually because of their new seven nanometer chips. Um, they are refreshing the Epic processors. These are the processors that goes into the big processor buildings and units to support the cloud and everything else for big businesses. They're rumored to have a 20% better core performance over their last gen. So that is insane when you're thinking about performance increasements. 20% in the uh, CPU market gain by the next generation is a major leap, guys. So that's going to help them. If the rumor is true, it's gonna boost their price, I believe, in the near future. But we have to wait and see when the AMD Epic server processors come out to see if the rumors are true. But I think that it is a, a true rumor to have a performance increase from 10 to 20%. Even if it's just 10%, that is still great. But 20%, if it's like it's rumored, that is groundbreaking and that's very good news for AMD. Now, over to NVIDIA. Let me explain to you guys. Okay, so like I said, and, and when it comes to gaming and GPU power, power no one outdoes NVIDIA. They just, they have the technology to have the amazing 
uh, performance. Now, AMD had the advantage over NVIDIA because they had good performance for the price. It wasn't the best performance. NVIDIA will, will outperform all of AMD cards, but when it comes to the price, AMD will perform almost just as well, but for a much cheaper price. You understand what I'm saying? For a much cheaper price. But now, NVIDIA is coming out with that new RTX 3000 series and the one that we're worried about is the 3070 series now the 3070 series is the one that we're worried about this one is better than nvidia's last gen best graphic card the 2080 ti which is like a 1200 dollars $1300 graphics card and the 3070 series the new gen is better than their best performing last gen at a much much cheaper price is going to come in at 499 dollars let's scroll down just a little bit here it goes it's going to come in at 500 dollars and it's even better than a like to get your hands on the 2080 ti that means you were the gaming pc guy you was that guy or girl and you could play any game on the market at max settings if you wanted to and now you could get a much affordable graphics card and be even better than their last gen best performance graphics card. So that's that's gonna make NVIDIA current owners start to sell their current graphics cards so they could pick these up in, sep in September and October when they release. But with RTX 3000 series priced at 500 and then the next best one priced at 700, that's gonna make AMD and that's gonna put them in a bind because usually AMD highest performance graphics card is around $500 and then that budget is around $300. So we're gonna see what AMD prices their graphics cards at to see if they can even perform with Nvidia at all. But let's go ahead and dive into the technical analysis of AMD right quick. All right, here we are over on Think or Swim. This is the four hour, 180 day chart. That means every bar that you see on here is four hours in the trading day over the last 180 days. If you guys been watching my videos for a long time, you know that I do not delete any lines on here to show you guys that, hey, hey, hey uh, you know what I'm saying? I do know what I'm talking about sometimes, you know what I'm saying? So anyways, let's go ahead and look at the lines that I drew out over the last couple of weeks. Let's zoom, and let's, let's not zoom in anymore. Well, we might have to start clearing up some lines so it don't get cluttered. Now, this is the pullback that I've been saying that we've been looking for a long time. By AMD to pull back to the green line right here, that is the, this is the 180 day SMA line, the simple moving average line. We've been waiting for it to pull back to this line. I said this was gonna catch up. Go watch my other videos. I kept saying that we're gonna wait for this green line to eventually catch up to AMD. So now the green line has finally caught up. In fact, we drew out this support and resistance line. So let's draw this out right here. And it did eventually touch that line one more time right there. So this is a clear support line now. It bounced off once right there, once again right there, and right there. And then the last two weeks ago, I said that it was gonna play off this uptrend line. And I drew it right here and it ended up staying true to this uptrend line, broke above the old resistance line and started to pull back. Now, if we take a look at the RSI, it is oversold. AMD is oversold right now, so it might be a good, great, a great opportunity to start buying back in, especially if it shows that it's gonna bounce off its old support line and the 180 day simple moving average line. So we might wait until the MACD starts showing green lines again or to it cross the blue line crosses over the yellow line, that'd be a good indication for us to start buying back into AMD at a great price. Could AMD fall all the way back down to this old support line back here? Let's zoom out a little bit. Could it fall all the way back down to this old support line all the way down here? It could, it could. If it does, I don't see it falling all the way back down to $59. I just don't see it guys. I, I, I don't see it falling all the way back down to uh, $59, $60. But if it do, Oh man, we're going to pick up a whole bunch of shares at $60, I'll tell you that. So AMD is oversold, the MACD is looking good. So once it shows that it's going to bounce off the 180 day simple moving average and off of this line right here, it'll be a great opportunity to start buying back into AMD. Now, so for the future projections of AMD, let's zoom out one more time. If we draw out this channel one more time out for the next couple weeks, 
AMD, I could see it unless something big happen with the GPUs that they're gonna release. I could see it trading in this channel continuing for the next couple of weeks or at least for the next week until something big happen to make it break above the $86 barrier again, this old resistance line. But I, I do think it's gonna trade in between these two channels right here and using the simple moving average as a support line. So that is my plays on AMD for maybe the next week or so. All right guys, and that's it for week 10 of AMD. There's no week nine, but there, this is week 10, just in case if you guys was wondering where it was, make sure that you guys hit thumbs up on this video to let me know that you guys are enjoying the series. But other than that, to make sure that you guys don't miss out on any future videos, make sure that you hit the subscribe button to this channel so that I could continue to make these AMD trading challenge videos for you. But other than that, I'm Zeke, bringing you the Dream Green Show, and I'm out. Peace.